Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. Just turn around. Just, buddy. Just, just turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oh, Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Walking Dead: Saints and Sinners, Chapter Two. Two. There we go. Uh, Saints and Sinners. Retribution, Chapter 2, Walking Dead. The longest name in history, but since playing Behemoth and going, kind of getting to grips with that game in my 30 minutes to an hour of play session that I had with that, I thought, what better time, you know, I'd be urged to come back and play Saints and Sinners and to kind of see how this game stacks up to what I played uh, in Behemoth, essentially. But today, we're going on a classic supply run. I don't know where. I don't know whether we'll do it at day or night. We're just going to head out. We'll build a pistol. We have no 9mm millimeter ammo though. Hmm. The other one we want is the bolt action. Awesome. Now, obviously this is a very different game than Behemoth because for one, it's survival focused. For two, you got guns. Uh, and Behemoth is very melee focused. But I wanted to have a kind of jump in and reevaluate some of the melee combat in this game as well and just how it feels. And it, to be honest, it feels pretty similar to Behemoth, like the framework. You've got your floating arms and your arms look really good and all that. It, it's quite similar, to be honest. Even in visual style, it's, it is. But, you know, I don't know where I want to head. Maybe the hotel. The hotel's kind of free gear points. Let's do that. Before we load in, do you want to consider subscribing to the channel? We're trying to get to our goal of 10,000 subs at the moment. I'm fairly sure we're not there at the time of recording or where this will go out. So any help is appreciated. Anyway, let's get back into this game world with the lens of Behemoth. That's the thing, I think the game is just as sharp as Behemoth was. If not, Behemoth's a little sharper, to be honest. They both run at 90 hertz, so they're both unreprojected. But the scale of Behemoth is just so like, it's such, it's, yeah, it's got a bigger scale than this game, which kind of made me feel like this game had less aliasing, because all the objects are kind of smaller. In Behemoth, say, you'd have a tower that goes twice this high, and you'd be like, whoa. And the Behemoths themselves are huge, but to be honest, I feel like, you know, the visual clarity might be better in Behemoth, just by a little bit, not by much, just by just by a tiny little bit, you know. Are we in the hotel here, or are we... God, the light rays are so good. I do hope they end up making a chapter 3 for Saints and Sinners, that would be awesome. I, I don't know, they didn't want to reveal any of their plans while I, when I played Behemoth. Hello. I swear, it sounds like there's another one, okay. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, that visceral nature is in Behemoth very much. But obviously the combat here is very much like they're just trying to grab you and you've just got to kind of do that. So yeah, I do, I do hope they make a chapter 3 to Satan Sinners because I feel like there's still more potential for locations and stuff like that. Um, but again, after playing Behemoth, now that... Well, I say now that I can talk about it publicly. I, could, I, I can talk about it for a while when this video goes goes out, but... I'm very excited for both Behemoth and what could come after that if they just keep on stretching their legs creatively. Because, goddamn, it's good. But the environments are just as detailed in this as they are in the new game. The actual clarity and how sharp everything looks is pretty damn unmatched. Right, you ready? Shit. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. Just turn around, just, buddy, just, just turn around, yeah, there you go, okay. Oh, fucking. There we go. But yeah, they've got the same sort of, like, you can flip your sword around in your hand like this, and begin with as well with the, uh, like you can with the knives in this game, which is so damn cool. Yeah, I mean, I can see, you can see the framework of the, where they built up from with the new game, absolutely. And instead of pistols we got bow and arrows in behemoth or well, arrows and bows as i said in my preview video <laughs> uh, oh god it's a very different vibe though obviously being this an action adventure game like there's no survival there's a lot of combat and none of this sketchy shit oh shit okay Oh, fucking hell. Because you know what's around every corner, you know. It's got to be... It's got to be a walker. You know? It's not going to be a... What was that? 
uh, as I say, some like disgusting shit. I almost dropped my pistol on her. But you know what's going to be around every corner because it's always going to be a walker. That's all that's in this game. But it's just the sound and the lighting is so effective. Excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> where? Where? Where is that? I came into this game looking for some Behemoth comparisons so that I could talk about that while revisiting one of my favourite PSVR 2 games. And now I'm standing in the middle of a hotel lobby, shitting myself. Hmm, that's a severe lighting change when I go here. Okay, why is it so dark in here? Hi. Oh, do I go upstairs? Hello. Yeah, I'll go upstairs. Okay. Yeah, it's it's quite refreshing um, knowing that the next game is adventure and battle oriented instead of the horrendous nature of that. That was not a fun experience. Oh, can I? Climbing is something that's revamped a lot as well on Behemoth. Whereas here, it's it's decent, but it's quite basic. Behemoth's got a lot more weight to it. I feel. Hello. Goodbye. I know there are some vinyl records you can pick up in the game that are like collectible items. Ah, that's a good find. There it is. Versus Blight. Awesome music records. Apparently, someone in my comments on the last Satan's and Cinders video when I picked up one of those vinyls said that if you follow the link on one one of the vinyls that's there, then you'll um you'll get taken to the Saints and Sinners like vinyl or music website. Which I didn't know existed, but that's actually very, very cool because if they've got a vinyl for Saints and Sinners, then they'll probably make a vinyl for Behemoth, wouldn't you think? I would think so. Gotta get the classic Saints and Sinners thumbnail shot, you know. Hello, friend. They're all kind of gathered down there. Oh, great. Come on then. <gasps> oh my god. They all make noise. Oh, that one doesn't. Oh, it does. If somebody walked in then, I would look like a right idiot. Oh, this is where you meet Mr. Man for the first time. The, um... The Axeman of New Orleans. I now need to find my way home. No maps. No look at any maps. We've got to be immersive here. I'm just exploring. That's a dead end. If I can get out this way... Ugh. Ow. That's a way out. Just watch the door. Okay. If I remember right, a way out this way. Yeah. Lovely. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons and YouTube members Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazit Mirza, Ace Gamer, Hippy Pickle, Jin007, a license to chill, Sun W2F, PO Sco, and Fat Controllers. If you want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership. Okay. <laughs> if you want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership or the Discord, which is free, unlike the other two, you can check them out in the description below. All the links are there, as always. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.